All right, guys. So we're jumping right back into it. We're doing Let's Play Final Fantasy. If you don't know what this is, we're actually playing through Final Fantasy as a forum. So the forum should be linked below. Um, it's on vote. So it's a Final Fantasy forum. We're playing through the Final Fantasies and we're discussing them. And just kind of, I mean, it's just a community around Final Fantasy. Definitely suggest checking it out. I mean, just, yeah. And the more people we have in the community, the more, like, the better community it is. That sounds weird. No, I would rephrase that actually. The more people we have, the more diverse the opinions are. I think that's like the politically correct way of saying it. The more diverse the opinions are. Yes, we'll say that. But um, anyways, yeah, we're just playing through Final Fantasy. We're actually playing through the mountain part. We're going to try to uh, see if we can get the fire crystal or whatever. I believe it's fire crystal because, I mean, it's a volcano. So... Kind of makes sense. We'll just go through here. We already got all these chests, so we should be good. Um, yeah, that was actually the last video. It was just us going like, let's grab every chest in the world. And also, we need to watch out for these guys. These do do insta-death on our people if they use gaze and hit. So, we should be good. Yeah, Sticky took care of that like a boss. He's actually really good at physical attacks for being a mage and all. So as you can see, it's kind of nice. You can choose to get all the chests, or you can just be like, ah, fuck it, and just go for it. But as we step on the lava, we do get damage dealt to us. We did some power leveling, though, so we're at a point where it's like, I don't care what's good, what damage gets dealt to us, because we're just like, dude, we can take all the damage. We own this mountain. It is ours. Except when someone does insta death to us. That's when we're like, okay, that's kind of rude. You see, we're actually at a point where enemies are fleeing from us because they're like, oh, I know I'm gonna lose this. Let's not, let's not make mistakes. But cool. It's very cool. So obviously, we're just kind of exploring around. We do have a bunch of potions, so we should be able to use those fairly soon. Yeah, one hitting enemies is just ridiculously OP. Looks like we might have to go this way, actually. Should probably also check, after this battle at least, what my health is. Or well, I can check in battle. Looks like my mages need some health. Everyone else is good. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's like, well, if you have a little, like, 100 less health than you normally do, it's fine. It doesn't really matter to me. Ooh, Blaze. I didn't do that much, though. We got a killer party, guys. A killer party. And it's actually good that we power level because we need to finish this by August. And as you, if you see the date right now, it's like August 30th, August 31st. So this is the last day we have to beat this game. Odds are I probably won't beat it. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll continue it on into September. But, um, yeah. I mean... I was thinking about it, and we did have a weird, weird month where it was like, you have to beat the game in like two weeks, and I mean, I'll be honest, I'm not, I'm not the quickest with games, I take my time a lot of the time, and real life exists, so it happened, I had some other stuff to do, but I'm going to focus on beating Final Fantasy 1 for like, the next day or so, I think like September 2nd is when it should be beaten, fairly close. But the most important thing about it, like I mentioned before, was their forum. I'll actually link that below. And that forum has the discussion we have about it. So if even if you didn't play through with the month, if you remember the game and like want to discuss it, just go on the forum, say your opinions. I mean, it's very, very much all about community. That's what we're stressing here because we like talking about Final Fantasy, obviously. We joined a forum about Final Fantasy. So yeah, we just like talking about it. So the more people, the merrier. Man, that lava is annoying. Like it doesn't even do that much damage. I think it does one damage every step, but come on, man. This thing is all over me. So, yeah, it looks like that's all good. I'm hoping this isn't like a puzzle. Because I'm just in the mood to just be like, I'm going to crush everything in my path. 
<laughs> Man, all that damage. Oh wait, this looks like something, guys. Wait, was this... Was this where we came from? I don't think so. I'm very positive, not really, that this isn't where we came from. So yeah, we're taking some minor damage, but like I said, we're just, we're crazy overpowered, so we can kind of, we can take the risk of wandering around, because we're just going to be like, alright, cool, let's just bail if we get lost. Okay, this is actually gonna help. So this looks like a new place. Very good. When when we see unopened chests, we're like, okay, this seems different. Let's go for it. Can you imagine if enemies in this like poisoned you? Like like if I was going through Marsh Cave, that was the first cave we went through and we had nightmares about. If I was going through Marsh Cave and I got poisoned as well as damage when I walked, I would have just quit my life. I would have been like, all right guys, well let's play Final Fantasy, let's not. And then I just go play like Fall into Vegas and cry. No, I'm joking. But yeah, like seriously, was, that would have been crazy. So I kind of, kind of wish that existed though. Part of me where I'm like, I wish things were hard. Cause this game is very hard compared to like, newer games of course because you know those games nowadays have that hand holding mechanic which I'll be honest I kind of like in some cases not really in others where like I'll use Fallout and, as an example like like I love 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 Fallout New Vegas like my fit one of my favorite games ever Final Fantasy 10 is my favorite game ever but one of my favorite games ever but it has arrows pointing to every single thing you have to do so it's kind of impossible to fail at that game. Like if you don't know what to do, just just look at the map. Like it's a it's a drawn out map for what you need to do. And I think the value in that is you don't always follow that map. You have that expiration where you can be like, all right, cool. Well, screw maps. I'm just going to do whatever I want. But I kind of like um, Final Fantasy's way of doing it. At least the old olden Final Fantasy, if I should say it that way. Like. I'm basically given like, like I go into town and I'm actually required to talk to everyone and kind of get a theme and like a feeling for what's happening. Cause that's what I was doing earlier in the let's play. It was like, Hey, head out West because there's a, there's like a golem out there. And I'm like, Oh, that's, that's cool. So I was like, Oh, there's a, there's a cave with like a Titan. And I'm like, all right, well I need to find that cave then. So I looked around, I saw, I found a cave where I was like, Oh, that's the Titan. I bet you I need him. And I did. And I don't know. It's just stuff like that where I like that kind of play style because it's more rewarding when you think about it. I think that's why people love Zelda so much too, the puzzle aspect. I don't know, that's like the end of my rant, but that's how I feel about uh, Final Fantasy and why I like this game so much. Then again, when you think about it like that, this kind of game does lend itself to like, it takes a while sometimes if you, if you don't know what's going on, because then you'll be like, okay, I, I didn't play this game for a little bit, now what, do I, what am I doing? So that's, I think that's actually what stopped me so many times before because I played this game a couple times but I would always be like okay I haven't played this game for about a couple months I don't remember where I am in the game and then I'm just like well I can't whatever I'll just do nothing something else so yeah that was kind of the rant on how I feel about games nowadays I think they're good in some aspects but I really do like the idea of exploring and needing to find like think through what you're doing be like all right cool well like this doesn't make sense because of this or even what I was doing um, earlier in the let's play where I was like okay like it seems like the map is is like around earth so if I keep them going in one direction I might actually loop from what I was seeing so I've got to actually like think about where I've been and map it out in my mind and be like, all right, cool. So that makes sense. I'm here. I've already already been there. And then you know, just kind of think about where you're going. I don't know, just stuff like that. Where I just really like that kind of a uh, challenge. Yeah. And
And I think, um, I think I definitely replay Final Fantasy 1. I think I do a challenge playthrough, though, rather than just what I'm doing here. I'd be like, everyone's a white mage. No, I'm joking. I'd actually probably have everyone black mages, because that seems like a cool idea. Well, three black mages and a white mage. So we got some more chests. Always nice. I think we're in too deep to actually pull out. And yes, there's a joke there. But yeah, just saying that so we probably won't go back to restore any potions we're using. And odds are we don't really need to. I mean, we only did that last time because we'd used up a lot of potions and it was the safest course of action. Even now it's the safest course of action, but it just wouldn't make sense. 10 gil? Are you serious? Am I going to encounter the same thing? That is awesome. I love that chest. That's like the ultimate troll move right there. You're just like, hey, you want this gill? It's 10 gill. Screw you. By the way, another lava worm. See, this would bother me a lot more if I wasn't like super powerful. <laughs> I'd just be like, oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh man. We're just going between them forever or not. Man, he's always using that blink. I mean, it doesn't really matter, honestly, because... We can always hit him. We've got a pretty good team, so it's to the point to where it's like, oh, you're going to try to block me? Well, it, it just doesn't work really that well for him. And I feel like this is just, I don't know, this place is just like, hey, do you want to find the boss? Well, too bad. Every treasure chest, though, you can have it. Fire lizard. Like I said, it doesn't matter. We're getting quite a bit of experience doing this, so I think we'll be super leveled by the time we get done. Like, we're already, like, what, level 25? And I did look online, I said before, I believe you have to be level, like, 35 to beat Chaos, the, uh, boss. I believe so. That's what someone told me online, so if I was told it online, it has to be true, guys. That's how it works on the internet. Found a staff. Am I just getting like troll items now where it's like, hey, you want a good item? Let's give you a staff. You know how good the staff is? Not at all. <laughs> As you can see. Definitely not the most prestigious item. But that's fine. I don't I don't mind getting crap items because I'm honestly valuing the encounters and the experience a lot more than anything else. I think I've already pretty much gotten the best weapon in the game, but I, I feel like that's not true. Because I got the Mithril Sword, and no sword I've grabbed has beaten it. They've all got weird effects, but like I'm just like, well, it's stronger. Like, I guess by uh, the standards of uh, strength and stuff and attack, it's stronger. Maybe I'm just crazy and I'm just missing something, but I don't think so. I think I'm just... Money buys power, that's what this game taught me. Okay, so this looks like something like where the final boss would be. Oh yeah, this definitely looks like something like the final boss. Dude, Fire Wizard, get out of my way, buddy. You can't beat me. No one can beat me. Not really, actually. I've died plenty of times in this game. I'm just, like I said, I'm just waiting to get in the encounter every single time I like walk forward now. Which is fine because, never mind. I was going to say, if I can keep on attacking them without getting hit once, then it's just benefits. But obviously, I could not buy that example. Wait for it. Oh, wow. I was totally waiting for it to happen again. Red dragon. Oh, this is kind of cool. I never encountered a dragon before. I mean, he died, but I've never encountered one before. That's really nice. Flame mail. Oh my god, this might actually be really good, guys. 
We might have done it. We might have found something nice. Guys, we did it. We found something actually good. This is the first time ever we found something good. Yes. Basically, that is exactly what the night armor, except now we can actually evade stuff. So that's very good. It gives us the like the same defense, but now we can be like, oh, you want to attack me? Too bad, because I'm going to invade it. And that's only if Loft can do that, but it still gives us a huge, huge advantage where we didn't have one. It's the best of both worlds. It's like Hannah Montana. Alright. I think this will probably be the last... Um... Oh, jeez. I hate my controller because I'm doing that. Um, this will probably be the last fight of the video until we move on to bigger and better things, guys. Not really. Um, it's just, it's past the 15 minute mark. We're going to try to keep it that for this one at least. Anyways, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And definitely check out the vote form below where we're going to be talking about Final Fantasy's uh, Let's Plays. Um, yeah, we're doing Final Fantasy 2 next month. And yeah, just check out the Final Fantasy 1 Let's Play wrap up and... I'll talk to you guys later.